before preparation of the humerus, the olecranon process is resected parallel to the ulna and the lowest point of the ulnar articular surface as shown here. To provide an entrance of the aiming device for the humerus, the central portion is resected. The center of rotation on the lateral epicondyle is marked and then the aiming device is applied. Then the center of rotation on the medial epicondyle is checked. And using the aiming device, a drill passes through all the holes. And here, as demonstrated, the center of rotation lies parallel to the scalpel, which is placed on your articular surfaces. Entrance to the humeral medullary canal is manually performed. And using a small drill, it can be elaborated. and using a probe, the posterior or anterior offset is then determined. Using a probe, the distance between the two wires is then tested, which now correlates with large which is a green testing bushing. For further preparation of the humeral canal, this aiming device is put on the wire through the center of rotation and then applied on the posterior side of the humerus, which has to be parallel to the axis of the humerus itself.
The drilled holes mark the resection. Using the provided rasps, the right size of implant is determined. To prevent intraoperative fractures, a cannulated reamer over previously intramedullary inserted K-wire can be used instead of the brooches. Trial components then can be inserted with here the green articular surface which relates to the posterior offset as determined previously. And then flexion and extension of the elbow is tested as well as valgus and varus stress. If necessary, the radial head can be excised now. We advise excision only if radio capillary osteoarthritis is present. Using the ulnar aiming device, the cartilage of the ulna then can be removed using a drill. The ulnar shaft is then prepared and again using a rasp the right size of ulnar component is determined. In this case the ulnar correlates to the yellow trial component. With both trial components in place now on the ulnar and humeral side, the elbow extension and flexion can be tested again.